it's great to have him back. Uh, can't wait to see him. Uh, seen him in this off season. Uh, I ain't think he would be back, but I'm grateful that he's back. Over the years since his Like I said, I had seen him this off season uh, down in Atlanta, so uh, I want to say we could keep in touch like that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. How was that? Were you kind of thinking, like, did he still have it? Uh, Cam is Cam. You know, uh, even with the injuries, you know, he still battled through and was still Cam. Uh, but this offseason, his arm looked fine to me. Was it kind of an informal gathering, guys from a bunch of different team kind of thing? Uh, I forgot why I was in Atlanta. Uh, but it was, like, spontaneous, and we just hooked up, and we threw and hung out. I don't know who's in high school. Not to, not to say anything about P.J. Walker, but how does a guy with all the starts Cam have under his belt mm -hmm. help this team more than maybe Walker would just be going to a second start? Um, I don't know. He, he, you know, everybody just know Cam as the superstar, but within the locker room, you know, he just brings a different energy and he's more of a, a vet vet that – that PJ can lean on and actually like learn something from. So, with with them two, it's just gonna be amazing to see how they push each other. And then when Sam comes back, it's gonna be amazing to see all three of them push each other. How, how important do you think that that energy is, you know, to have particularly on offense? As far as the like. Motivating. Like, how important is having an energy? How important was the energy when he was there? Who you are? And positive energy is always going to be contagious, no matter who who you are. Like, uh, we go out there have fun. It's going to be contagious. It's going to rub off on the defense. It's going to rub off on special teams, and it's just all going to just be one big ball of energy. And we're just going to be playing like that. Young in your career when Cam was here, what did he? How did he help bring you along as a wide receiver in this league? Uh, he just told me about the the little things within the game, uh, from studying to understanding who we playing, and like just to know the game game plan in and out, and uh, just be available for the quarterback to know that they can trust us to be where we are uh, going to be. TJ, when JC got hurt, Panthers went and signed Gilmore. Mm -hmm. Sam gets hurt, go get a former league MVP, what message does that send in the locker room? Uh, there's some veterans out there that, that still can play and that uh, even though you get hurt, you can still learn from them even though we're bringing them in. So just to have like veterans that did it at a high level uh, with the young guys, we could not look at it as a challenge but as a learning opportunity. What about you? And Matt made this point um, that – you're not looking to next year. This is like a win now kind mm -hmm. of move. As a guy like yourself, how does that make you feel? Uh, yeah, just like he said, we just want to win now. Like uh, the season might not be going as planned how we planned it out from the beginning, but at this time, it's just like we got to bounce back and just go on this run of getting wins on top of wins, and that's going to take one one game at a time and not looking forward to next year. What about the move surprised you? What about it? Shoot, that, that he back in Carolina. That that's that's the main thing that that probably surprised everybody. Like it was so unexpected. How did you find out? I mean, looking at your phone, were you at practice? How did you find out Cam was signing with the team? Uh, social media. Like that. That's probably the the first thing. Like my phone had went off. I think somebody added me. Like one of the fans at me on on either Instagram or Twitter, I don't know, one of them. And then it just blew up from there. I was, I ain't know if it was true or not, because you know you can't miss Cam if he in the building and, at all, because he's huge. So I ain't know if it was true or not. Have you seen and got a chance to speak to him yet? No. DJ, knowing him, how quickly do you think he could make any kind of impact, whether it was as a bit player or maybe eventually start? Uh, I just know the his vibe, his energy is just going. It's going to hit everybody differently. So once he, once everybody gets to really know, understand him and know what he's about, it's just going to change everybody's perspective. What do you mean by 
Like from the outside, he might look like he's playing around, but he's really that's how he works and gets his job done. He had said, DJ, that he felt like maybe his presence and that persona that I think you're talking about intimidated maybe Dave and Matt when Matt first got here. Did you pick up on that at all? And is, is that in any way kind of what you're referring to? No, I'm talking about it as like the players. Uh, some play, We got like a whole new locker room that don't know who Cam is. They could just see him just running around the field, listening to the music, uh, hype as something like silly, but it's really just how he get himself going and not knowing that it could rub off on, on them a different way and they'd be all juiced up.